Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, we're gonna talk about thyroid problems. I realize that thyroid problems in women is, is running rampant, and I want to give you the fasting solution for it, and plus, give you a few other ideas on what you can do to support your thyroid. So if you're new to my channel, I just say welcome. I'm a woman on a mission. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and dive in. We got a lot of, lot of videos here and this is gonna be a dense one. So I'm super excited to bring it to you all. Do a long fast one day. Your blood sugar going up and down. We're in it together. Okay, thyroid problems in women. Huge issue. Now, I'm not leaving the men out of this conversation. So if you do have, if you're a man listening to this and you have a thyroid problem, this applies to you as well. I will be making some nuance and some little subtle changes uh, that women may need to adopt that men don't. So stick through this whole video with me as I walk you through the different pieces here. The first that I want to say is that one out of eight women have a thyroid problem. And this, there, when we see a commonality in women like this, or just in general with the human race, we have to stop and ask ourselves, what is the environmental impact? Because we all have different genetics, we all have a different microbiome, yet we're seeing a trend of thyroid problems in women. So there has to be something that's common to all of us. And what's common to all of us is that we're living in a modern world that is full of physical, emotional, and chemical stressors. And the thyroid is often referred to as the canary in the coal mine. When it starts to malfunction, it is not because your thyroid just wore out or you had poor genetics. It actually is a sign that there's something systemically not going well. And the thyroid was the first organ to scream help. So I wanna walk you through that so you can diagnose your own issue because everybody here's, and this is really the struggling part of, of thyroid issues is that everybody's reason for a malfunctioning thyroid is different. So let me give you a broad perspective here on why you start to see thyroid hormone numbers go off. And then I'm gonna talk about the fasting solution. And then at the end, I'm gonna bring you back into some other little hacks that I've noticed just from treating so many thyroid cases over the years that I find really work. So sit through this video with me as I walk you through each step. The first thing to know, and I wrote actually about this in the menopause reset, and I, and, and I put it into the protocol section in Fast Like a Girl, is that the thyroid doesn't work on its own. It has to get communication from the brain. And then it also has to, requ it requires the help of the liver and the gut to break down this hormone to make it usable for you. So this is typically how it works, is the hypothalamus and pituitary, they are the master coordinators of all hormones. They tell the thyroid, hey, go ahead and make T4. Now their chemical messenger from the brain is TSH. Most of you have probably, who have a thyroid condition, have walked into your doctor's office and your doctor has looked at TSH alone, hasn't looked at T4, hasn't looked at T3, hasn't looked at all these other thyroid numbers, which is, to me, a very limited view as to what's going on with your thyroid. So TSH gets made in the brain. It goes to, stimulates to the thyroid to make T4. Now here's what's really interesting, about 90% of what the thyroid makes is T4. So most of the hormones coming out of the thyroid is T4. But it, T4 is really not helpful for you until you break it down into T3. So the thyroid, the T4 hormone has to go down to the liver and it has to go down to the gut where it gets broken into T3. And then T3 has to be able to get into the cell. So if your T4 is low, there's a good chance that this communication from the brain to the thyroid is off. If you're not seeing the conversion from T4 to T3, there's a very good chance that there's something with your liver and gut that's off. And if you're not able, if you see all those numbers okay, but you're still feeling the effects of, low, of, of a low or a malfunctioning thyroid, there's a good chance that T3 is not getting into the cell to be able to activate it. So it's brain, 
thyroid gland, liver, gut, cell. That's the, that's the, the formula. And then once it gets into the cell, communication goes out back up to the brain and says, okay, everything's working right down here. So it's this feedback loop. Okay, now that you know that, let's talk about what fasting principles we have. And I, I know that I'm speaking to some of you that have been following me for a, a long time, um, that are, are, this, is, this is not new news, what you're hearing right now. I'm speaking to some of you who have recently bought Fast Like a Girl, um, and you're just learning these principles. So I realize we have like a wide variety of knowledge here. So let me try to make it as simple as possible. When we go to bring that whole feedback loop back into balance, everything from the brain, the thyroid, the gut, liver, gut, and the cell, there is a lifestyle that needs to happen in order for that whole feedback loop to work. And of course, fasting has to be, is a major principle of that lifestyle. And let me tell you why. When you dip into different versions of fasting, what happens is you start to stimulate something called autophagy. And the, both the thyroid and your brain are highly influenced by autophagy. This is a really, really good thing. Because in the book, and, and those of you that have a book, you can, you can see this, it's on page 283. I put a whole thyroid protocol in here. I'm gonna explain what this protocol is here in this video. But I have why thyroid goes off and I have the protocol here. To me, this is a foundational idea that you've got to start with lifestyle. When it comes to a lot of these malfunctioning organs or conditions that you guys are kind of caught in this, this loop that you can't get out of, we, it's so common for us to reach for the pill, whether it's a medication or a supplement. But when we're looking at something like the thyroid, we need to reach for the lifestyle tool first. And that tool begins with this major piece to fasting. So we know the brain is really influenced positively by autophagy. So we want to get, want to get you into a little more 17 hour fast so we can stimulate autophagy. We also know that the, the thyroid highly stimulated by, or highly influenced negatively by toxins. So we need to come up with some kind of tool to be able to start to rid the thyroid of toxins. We're back at anything over a 17 hour fast where we're start, we can stimulate autophagy. So we have two camps, two, two, two check marks for autophagy. We then know you've got to see the liver and the gut need to be in good shape. Well, the good news is that the liver is actually really, really helped by something as simple as intermittent fasting. So we just need to get the body to, to, to go over, the liver to, to that switch over. We just want to see that you're able to get yourself into a state of ketosis, which is awesome. So any kind of form of intermittent fasting is going to be great. Okay, we also need the gut. Well, we know that we need the gut. We can use the 24-hour fast to, bring it, to start to heal the gut. And then to bring down cellular inflammation, we need something as simple as a 13-hour intermittent fast. Now, before you're like, what did she just say? I'm gonna put this into a monthly protocol, which is what I did in the book. So if you don't have the book, grab a copy of Fast Like a Girl. There's so much juicy information in here about how I use fasting in my clinical practice for so many years. But here's what I want you to know about this protocol for the thyroid, is that, and if you're a cycling woman, what I did is I have you the first five days of your cycle, just get used to some intermittent fasting with some keto. Um, then I have you move, there's, there's a three day period, day six to day eight, where I have you move into autophagy so we can stimulate that. Then I have you move one day on, um, uh, two days into a gut reset, 24 hour fast. That's day nine and 10 of your cycle. I know I'm going through this fast. Um, here's what I'm going to have my, my staff do is they're going to put this protocol in the, in the notes, but I highly recommend you get the whole book because it's just a protocol without a principle. It's not as helpful for you. And I'm here to teach you how to heal yourself. So, but I will, as you're listening to this, I will have them put this in the notes. So, you know, so you're going from intermittent fasting to autophagy fasting to gut reset fasting more 24 hours. Then you go back to intermittent and then you go back to, to autophagy and then you don't fast the week before your period. So you can see that's how I moved you in and out. Like let's lean into all the principles we know that will work with all the organs that are involved. 
Now, I want to add in something else that's really interesting here, and that's that one of the macronutrients, macronutrients being fat, carbohydrates, and protein, the one macronutrient you're going to want to lean into for thyroid problems is carbohydrates. That is what the research has shown. The, the, the research on thyroid and fasting shows that in the fasted state, we often see T3 and T4 go down. That's a temporary reduction. It's the body getting into this repair stage. But then when we bring food in, specifically carbohydrates, we see T3 and T4 double. So of all the macronutrients you need to lean into when you break your fast, it's your carbohydrate load. You got to bring it up. More of like a hormone feasting plan that I map out in the fast in fast like a girl. So remember that there's the healing that happens in fasting and then there's the healing that happens when you bring food back into the equation. For the thyroid, you got to bring carbs back into the equation. That is imperative. And then time that around your cycle so you're still having some keto days. I'm not saying give up the keto days, but I'm saying hormonally, as you learn to fast like a girl, I want you to bring in some of these carbs. Okay, last thing I want to tell you is that um, there are other things to look at. Selenium, adding in that mineral is really important. It's in Brazil nuts, like six Brazil nuts has all the selenium you need for a day. Um, then, then iodine. I wouldn't just start adding iodine. I'd test your iodine and make sure that you are needing that in because a lot of times if your iodine's good and you add that in, you're only going to throw the thyroid off even more. So know your iodine numbers. A great add-in to food-wise would be seaweed. Get a clean source, organic, so it's free of any toxins. But when we look at selenium and, and um, iodine, we've got Brazil nuts and seaweed that we can support with food. And then if you're gonna supplement, I would test both of those things. Now, thyroid's really complicated. So I tried to simplify it. There's about 20 other pieces I wanna tell you, um, but I don't know your certain si situation, and one of those pieces might work for some and not for the other the others of you. What I've given you here is a good start to addressing your thyroid issues on your own using the principles of fasting and variation and the two supplements I talked about. If you want to dive deeper, deeper into the thyroid, these are the kind of discussions we have in my Reset Academy. So come join me over there. All you've got to do is put Reset Academy in your um, notes and my team will send you a link on how you can join. But literally what I just gave you all, that is the foundational start to this thyroid conversation. Before you get too tricked out or upset at your doctor because they didn't prescribe you the right medication or, or you're, you're lost in your own thyroid world, start with what I just taught you here. And you might have to go back and re-listen to this. Um, and definitely get the book and read 285. That's where I left all my thoughts around thyroid. I have multiple areas in the book that I address thyroid because it's such a big issue for women. So let me in the no know in the notes if that helps. Um, as always, if you've had good results using fasting for your thyroid condition, please put that in the notes. And if you want to dive into this topic deeper in my Reset Academy, come join me over there. I'm, I'm pouring all my heart and soul and knowledge to that community to help them solve their own health problems. So it would be just excited to have you over there so that you can get on an incredible path of health for you. So with that, I hope that helps. There's thyroid in a fasting nutshell. Okay, if you've made it this far in the video, it's a sign. You definitely need to subscribe. And if you want to learn more, if you love that video and you want to dive into more of the information I have on this channel, go to this video.